How long have you been dancing? I have been dancing since I was like five years old for about 12 years. I've been dancing for almost nine years now. 11 years. And I've been dancing for 10 years and going on to my 11th year. I'm currently in four dances, um, tap, ballet, and jazz, and then a jazz duet as well. Jazz, tap, ballet, hip hop, modern, point and contemporary. This year I do five hip hop classes a week in Boston and Northampton, and then I do ballet twice a week. I participate in about 12 dances. Some of them are jazz, lyrical, tap, ballet. Um, I take some technique classes, um, and then I also assist with about five classes. I also take about 12 classes, um, like lyrical, jazz, tap, modern, like basic classes. Why did you choose to dance and stay with it? I think I started off the way everyone started off, you know, um, being enrolled in a ballet class or two when you're like, I don't know, five years old. And then, I don't know, it was just something I really enjoyed, and so I stuck with it. When you do so many dances, how do you not mix them up? You kind of, over time, learn the different technique, and you practice each week over and over and over. So I think that just helps me not mix them up. What is the hardest part about dancing? The hardest part is probably like balancing it with your everyday life. And it's very hard to get homework done for school and um, sleeping is really tough because we usually get home at about nine o'clock at night. When I'm dancing, I think about mostly like what I'm doing right then and there. It's a lot of concentration on your, what your feet are doing because they're moving so fast, you know, and you have your arms. I don't know, it's a lot of things to think about at one time. Who do you look up to for support? A lot of the people I train with out in Boston. I've met a lot of people that are in like their mid-twenties that have gone through so many different experiences with dance, and so I always look up to them. My tapster, David, he's an amazing dancer. He's like one of the best tappers I've ever met. And so like I look at him dancing, I'm like, wow, like I want to be like that. I aspire to be as good as he is. I spend so much time doing it that it just kind of is my life and I don't really imagine my life without it, and it's just kind of what I go to when something's wrong. Dancing, I think, has made me just like a better person. It's motivated me. I know if I don't do well in school, my family won't allow me to go and dance in Boston or anything, so it's really just like pushed me to be a better person all around.